Meghan Markle's few public appearances have been compared to those of a late Hollywood star who made deep shouting an event, a royal commentator has claimed. The Duchess of Sussex, whose latest high-profile public appearance was in November at the Ellen DeGeneres show, is said to be following a plot in a bid to make the press so excited to see her that they will sell whatever the former actress is working on. Royal expert Neil Sean claimed the approach, used back in the day by Greta Garbo, is actually working for Meghan. Ms. Garbo, one of the most popular motion picture stars of the 20s and 30s, retired from public life relatively early in her career and so, became an enigma, Mr. Sean said. And that strategy, he suggested, is being applied to the Duchess. He claimed, Meghan's PR team or advisors really believe that every time she goes out, it should become an event. And the reason behind that, it's not about vanity as such, it's about selling because as we've just explained every time Meghan does appear, people break down her hair, the makeup that she's wearing, the clothes, all that sort of stuff. Speaking on his YouTube channel, he suggested royal watchers might see even less from the Duchess in future. Since she and Prince Harry moved to California after stepping back from their senior royal duties, each time they have taken part in an event or announced a new project, they have shaken the palace and the media. The couple last week appeared at a virtual panel with the Duke's company Better Up, where he once again spoke about mental health, a subject close to his heart. He said, I too experience burnout. I'm burning the candle at both ends and that's like, boom. Some days are great, some days are really hard. I know I need to meditate every single day. Everyone has such busy days. If you have 15 minutes of white space, I allot half an hour or 45 minutes in the morning when one kid has gone to school and the other is having a nap. The last time Meghan gave fans and critics some action was at an interview with US host Ellen DeGeneres nearly three months ago as she renewed her call for the US to implement paid family leave. Speaking on NBC, she said, I think that people truly forget, or don't even know, that in this country, it's one of the only six countries in the entire world and the only wealthy nation in the entire world that does not mandate and have a federal paid leave program. Everybody knows, especially if you have had a child and even if you haven't, you know how hard it is and how critical it is in those first few weeks, if not months, to be together as a family. And the fact that we don't offer that here is something that now, as a mom of two, I will do everything that I can to make sure that we can implement that for people. Meghan's remarks followed an open letter to administration officials advocating for the cause. The fact that her appearance on the show was kept secret until the day before echoes Mr. Sean's theory. He said, the plan is of course that each time she arrives or appears on the scene, the media will be so excited that they will ignite, and more importantly sell, whatever Meghan and Harry are selling. Harry and Meghan can make a lot of money in a very short time, but even they know that celebrity, whoever you are, wanes. The British public was hoping for signs from the couple on the occasion of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee but a public congratulation for the monarch, who celebrated 70 years on the throne, never arrived.